Um, okay, so how does it kind of work? Right, very, very basic. The GPR puts out an electromagnetic wave, right, produces an electromagnetic wave, which primarily goes into the subsurface and spreads with depth. That will continue to go on until the energy is sucked out by the soil, or if it encounters some sort of discontinuity. If it encounters a discontinuity, like a grave pipe you know, or, or, or something else, some of the energy will reflect off of that discontinuity and come back to the ground surface and get recorded by the receiver, and some will continue on, unless the contrast is so great that all of it reflects back. Okay? And we're going to get into all that you know, as we go throughout the day. Um, but that's basically what it is. Signal comes down, okay, it'll spread out, it really spreads out everywhere, okay, we'll get into that, but it comes down, it spreads, and it'll continue to go on until the signal's eaten up by the soil, or if it reflects off of some sort of discontinuity, right, so it's really looking at contrast between materials. That's all it's looking at, is contrast, okay? You have contrast and enough signal to make it down, bounce off and come back, then you can be able to see that contrast, and then you can begin to try to interpret what is going on below the subsurface. So here's an example of GPR data. Right? Very, very basic, and it's in a sense what you would see if this was your site. Okay? So what we have here is Look at that, eats it up. Well, that's okay. I do have a finger. So, <laughs> Uh, in this case, right, what we're seeing is this linear reflection event, okay, which is the bottom of the asphalt, right? So in this case, you can estimate asphalt thickness, and then we're also seeing this hyperbolic reflection, okay, which is a sewer pipe. And so, very, very basic. This is unprocessed data. Um, you know, again, there may be another pipe here, uh, or it may be a buried rock, right? That contrasts with with, with the soil. Um, nonetheless is this is what it looks like, right? So as the wave comes in, it reflects off of the discontinuity, which is the bottom of the asphalt, right? It's the, and this was clay, so asphalt and clay interface. That's a contrast, right? So it reflects off of that contrast. Some of the energy comes back, but some of the energy continues on. And it's because some of the energy continues on that allows you to see, eventually, in three dimensions, right? So as it continues on, now you can see, as it gets deeper, right? this reflection becomes more subtle. And that's a couple of reasons. But reflects off of the, off of the clay uh, asphalt interface, and then some reflects off of the sewer pipe and allows us to see what's going on on the surface. Okay. 